Hi hey folks, and welcome back to Conan Exiles. This is episode 39 of the Let's Play 3.0 series, and as you no doubt can tell already, this episode we are going to continue to use our cold weather gear, and we're going to visit the Temple of Frost up in the, the snowy north, and we're going to visit the Frost Giants up there. However, before we go any further, I have a couple of things I want to go over. The first of which is last episode we got these blood sacks off of those demons at the magic event, the magi event, whatever it's called, up by the volcano. And I wasn't sure what they were, but if I use one of them, you can see it's a bit like a supply material pack that you get from a bearer in that it is literally a sack with blood in it and you get normal blood, demon blood and black blood which is very nice so let's see we use some more so 11 from there another 10 there we go so out of those six there we've got 55 black blood very nice indeed normal blood and demon blood not so much of an issue to get this but uh, yeah black blood very nice the other thing I want to show you is the last episode was obviously going to get the five pieces of the Mad Prophet armor. And that got me thinking about, of, although that's a time-limited set, there are other armor sets that are available through the Battle Pass that uh, once you've learned them, you've learned them forever, so they are not time-limited. But I've never made them because I don't like the color of them, essentially. But I was wondering what stats they've got and how dieable they are. So one of the ones I looked at, the, I just went back through the battle pass, and at level 45, you get Ophidian Magi armor. Now the armor itself is not too bad. Oh, it doesn't. I thought the whole idea was it would let you see your character in that armor, and you could spin it around, but that's that's not working. But anyway, I thought the armor looks okay, but I'm not too keen on the sort of purple color. But I wonder how dieable it was. So. I then went to my armor's bench, and if you look at Ophidian, there are, you can see here that, like, this is a normal headpiece, and this is the epic headpiece with the purple corners here. But if I click on the normal one, it has a value, armor value of 6, because it's light armor, but requires a perfected light padding to make, and layered silk. But if I click on the epic one, it has armor value of 16, just requires normal light padding and normal height. So it's like they've got the two of them back to front. Same with the chess piece, that needs the normal one, only 11 armor, needs perfected light padding, thick hide and layered silk, but the epic one, normal light padding, 28 armor and hide. So if we go to the the garrison armor bench so it'll only make epic gear and it'll only make it'll make it with less materials and look at ophidian as well so it's only shown the epic but again light padding and hide so if i craft that it takes long to craft like an epic piece of armor does but if i craft a set of that just using light padding and basic hide, we're going to get a set of epic armor out of it. Now I can also only assume that this is a bug and this will probably get patched out. So if you want a set of this armor, now would be the time to get it because you can craft it for a vastly cheaper cost. There we go, look. Light armor, armor. So we've got 32 armor on it because of our, our uh, tier four thrall with a 28 health. I think. By standard, it's a 20 health bonus on each piece, but it's light armor. The next thing I found that I made a set of that, and I was wanting to know whether, because this armor here is the armor I've been wearing, and I wanted to know whether you could apply a new illusion to it. So as long as it's fully crafted and you take it to your thermaturgy vents here, you can apply put this in and you can indeed so if you remember it did have the assassin armor if I put this on now 
it has the Ophidian armor, but not only that, as soon as I applied the Ophidian armor to it, it took on the dyes that the previous armor already had. So as you can see, it's dyed white, red, and black, like which my other armor was. There was a couple of areas that had like new areas that I had to fill in the colors just to get it like this. There was a few bits that were still like purple, but it's very dyeable and it's got rid of all the pink and purple and gold stuff on it. And yeah, it looks okay. It's still taking on the stats of the original Skelos Cultist Master armor, but this is my this is my new armor set. So is that crafted that now? So let's put this on. It hasn't done the boots, but that, that's what it should look like. So see the gold on the the skirt piece, and also on the the, sh the right shoulder there, and then the purple on the other side, and then the gold mask as well. So that's what it should look like. But uh, no, not that one. What we're done with it? I've, I've left it in here. Here we go. Put my put my normal armor on. So there you go. You can get yourself a set of epic, uh, Ophidian Magi armor for the cost of a standard set, and you can then dye it up and either wear it as it is or use it as an illusion set so yeah i thought it's worth worth showing you that because like i say that's probably a bug and it will get patched out at some point in time but uh yeah grab it grab it now while you can okay so like i said earlier what we're going to do today is we're going to run up to the oh i'll tell you what i'll need to take some of my um What's it called? Redeemed Silent Legion armor with me. Where did I put it? Is it in here? There's one piece. Oh, I've got it. I've got it on me. Uh, yeah, I'll take the take the five pieces. That's something I'll do. Just in case. But we'll need to get ourselves our shield to be able to cope with the cold, which is Mistmorn. We'll have this armor. It'll help us with the cold. And we may as well get ourselves some food and drink. So let's take uh, 20 of that will do. And half a stack of that will do. And we'll take... Uh, yeah, we'll take some gruel for the... The Delencias. Let's see. Oh, you've actually got a bunch of, bunch of gruel as it is. Uh, in fact, a hundred will do each of you. Let's take that back and I'll stick that back in the fridge. More than enough to cope with where we're going. And I'll drop the blood off. Uh, have I got room in here? Yep. Uh, I'll drop the helmet off because I won't need that. Do, 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 do. That'll do. Okay, right. We're going to head up to the Mounds of the Dead. And uh, we'll head into the, the snow from there. And I'll, I'll see you up there. Okay. See you very soon. Okay, we've made it up. We're just north of the, the Mounds of the Dead up here. And you can just see... This path that comes out here on the, the, I suppose it's not quite the, the most west mound, but the most west mound of the, the these three in the north. There's a path that comes up and it works its way up to the frozen north, which we're aiming to be, I think it's, I think it's this one is the Temple of Frost. So that's where we are and of course it's miserable and it's cloudy and it's raining and depressing like it always is but if we work our way up this path we should see some ghosts somewhere there we go so we've got a guy here leading his horse along the path not wearing very much at all, so he's going to be rather cold. As we'll find out later on, he's going to be extremely cold. 
Right, so we follow the path up, and it'll go round to the right here, and then we start getting into dangerous country, because there's going to be wolves, bears, mammoths, elk. There's a wolf to start with. Just a normal one, though. That's it. Some elk. There should be some. I can hear them. There it is. There's a mammoth. There's a, there's a big bear there. Can get, get past them without them aggroing. What are you fighting, enemy? Alright, let's take the mammoth down. Not sure if there's another mammoth over there. Whether you've seen me taking a, a mammoth down in this series or not. Lots of AoE damage. Check for that. Swings. Try to keep at his back. It's not easy. Oh, there's a wolf. Well, I'll take you on then. Oh, and, oh, and the elk. Sundered. Elk's down. There we go. Wolf's down. That bear's getting really close. The mama's on it. Quarter of the way there. The right, he rises up. That's a big knockback. to that wolf. Let's get the guys over here a bit. That's not a wolf, that's a bear. Come on, come on, over here. That's it. He's going to charge. Okay, away from the bear. I guess you could just run past all this nasty stuff here, but stuff's got to get nastier the further along you go, so you then get stopped and then have everything following you, which will be in trouble. There we go. 23,000 XP for taking down the mammoth. Chop its head off. There's a king elk. Yeah, they could take their head off the mammoth for an excellent looking trophy. Hello, elk. There's a white wolf over there. I see more wolves up on the, the ridge there. Another elk. Yeah, These are just the easy ones though. Okay. Should be able to get past this mammoth. It's off to the side. Something still chasing us. Another elk. See if we can get past this mammoth. And there's another mammoth there. The challenge that you used to get for killing a mammoth with poison, this is where I used to come up to that first mammoth there and use the snake arrows and basically just fight the mammoth until it was almost dead and then command the thralls to stop and then just stick some poison arrows in it and it'll end it off. Right, there's another king elk. Gods take you. Very little armor and oh, the forest king it's called. Also makes a really good trophy. Impressive set of antlers. Uh, and another normal elk. 
possibly missed one of the other ghosts. There's another another ghost of the same guy walking across. Sorry, Bambi. Defeat prey animals. Right, and this is the frozen lake. Is it Islet Lake? Yeah, Islet Lake. And if we go along here, we'll get the ghost noise again. Where are they again? There's the ghost noise. And if we look down, where is it? Can't see it. There's one. There's one under there. There's another one over here. There's the guy with the, the braids, look, with a pick in his hand. And the horse. So yeah, they all fell through the ice and met their demise. Which, to be fair, the first time I came here, I was very concerned about walking across here. Because I was worried I was going to fall through the ice too. Right, so we're going to keep heading across here. And when we get over here, we'll have more wolves, but more importantly, we'll have saber-tooths to attend with as well. So, let me keep my eyes open for that. There's a white wolf, a boss wolf. Dire wolf, yeah. For the sabers. Not seeing any yet. Okay, we're not, not getting too cold yet either. Oh, there's a saber tooth just there. There's a mammoth as well. There's another saber tooth there. Let's head over and take you out first. Just the normal one. To look into getting. Partly, these guys have been nerfed in Chapter Two, Frost Needle Forest. So I'll have to look into getting because those were my favourite pets. Looking, looking for more. Let's need to head over this way. Uh, I hear something. Uh oh. Is it? Oh, it's got us. Where did that come from? Did we not just walk past there? Okay, we're going to have to take this guy down. We'll just scout him looking for other nasties in the area. God, take you! Chasing the horse. Okay, go after this. Valencia's. So it's not a particularly easy place to get to. There's a lot of nastiness on the way. Six day thing. I'm doing thirty four damage to this because its armor is so high. There we go. It's down. Uh, right, how cold is it? Can we get away with drinking some normal water? 
So it's cooling us down, which is the problem with normal water. Let's take another one. Okay, but it's not. Our cold protection is okay. Right, so this is the first camp that's got frost giants in it. So they're very big, but they're not that hard to take down because they're so slow and they telegraph their attacks so well. However, if they do hit you, you get, I think it's called frostbite, and that drops your temperature massively, which can cause you big damage. So it's more the status effects that do more damage to you. You can see that Valencia's have got a little thermometer above their health bar. That's them. Ice Keeper Hollow. So the place we're going to is their temple. Alright, do you have anything on yet? Nothing that exciting. You've got some spiced haunch though. We'll take that. They quite often have spicy food on them. We'll take that. Don't worry about the rest. Anything in here? Mm, nothing of interest. Anymore? Nope. Okay. Right. Let's keep heading on towards the temple. Let's which is in that direction, through those rocks. Can we get through, can't get through there. Can we go the right way? Yeah. Essentially. We've got an ice rock nose. Get back on the horse again. Can get around the side of this. There we go. This is. Oh, there's another saber tooth. Can you take that guy out, please? the right direction. Okay. Uh, there's another saber tooth up on that cliff there. So it's in in there is where we're wanting to go to. So we're keeping an eye on these icy rocks here. No saber. There's a saber tooth down there. Right, I think we're going to leave the horse here. Come on, stand guard. There should be safe enough there, and we will head in here. And through here. We can see there is the Temple of Frost, and here is the obelisk. So we'll tune to that. And you can see normal ice and tons and tons of black ice around here. If you want to bulk load up with black ice, this is the place to come. There's so much all around the outside of the temple but also inside it too. Okay, all right, so we head towards the door, but we go to the right-hand side. There's a couple of things to learn there. You start to see a couple of frost giants guarding the door there. So the first thing to learn over here, this wooden totem here, and I'll teach you how to make totems like that. Uh, I think I will get Mistmorn. There we go. Temple of Frost. Get Mistmorn out now. Because it's got to get colder when we get in here. And then here on the right hand side, we've got another tablet. 
And that teaches us by Crom and the prey sitting, kneeling, standing. God take you. Take you. That is down. Got anything on yet? Nothing exciting. There's another one over here somewhere. There he is. I just love the aesthetics of this place. Look at the textures of the floor. Amazing. Look at that ice. Really well done. Alright, so there's some spiced pork. Some razor arrows. Okay. Alright, now we're into the temple properly. And the temperature you can see in the the status bar at the top is dropping dramatically, minus 44, so we're now actually cold. So I'll swap out the bottom three sets of the armor for the redeemed, which gives us the health, the stamina, and the carry capacity. And I'm going to keep the, these two sets on for our agility weapon damage. What was the other thing to give us? Concussive data. I guess that's, that's not of any use. Oh, even that's not really going to keep us warm enough. We might have to get the spiced food on to go. But we're very cold, so it's not it's not a big issue. We'll just drain our, our food quicker. It's only when it gets extremely cold that it becomes an issue. What did you have? Silver dust will take. We'll leave all the rest. Take him out. Alright, let me swap the normal food for the spice food. That'll warm us up. I'm gonna hit, hit them. There we go. So we're not very cold anymore, we're just cold. So this is the coldest place in the game. So I mean, I've got three pieces of redeemed armor on, I've got mist morn, and I've got spice food on, and I'm still cold. Cold is okay. Uh, take that. Keep just going straight on. There's no other real choice here. Missed. Swing swings. He's got a breathing potion, silver coins and more spice pork. So that's the stairs we came down and I'll just show you. Behind here there is a couple of chests but yeah, don't have anything particularly exciting in them as, as usual. And there is a bunch of ice and black ice around here as well. Look at this huge amounts of black ice. We're going to go forward and up this next stairs. I think there's more black ice and stuff behind this stairs as well. Maybe a chest as well, is it? No, lots of black ice. There's no chest though. Tons of it. Your biggest problem with coming here for tons of black ice is there's so many. Oh, look at that. Extremely cold now. Okay. So I'm going to put on the other two bits of my armour. We're now minus 62. Oh, did our food, our food buff. Warming us up. So he had silver dust. So you come up that stairs, you've got three ways to go. Straight ahead, left, right. So we're going to go, and again, more black ice. We're going to go right first. This is the place that always confuses me because there doesn't seem to be anything down here. Right. We'll get him. I think there's three guys. One, two, three. So that hasn't changed. So two of them. The disjunction, this room's called. Oh, just a swirly thing. 
Oh, now he's pulled them across to pull the third one. Get that first one down. Valencia 1 has got the great sword, so she'll be doing some AoE damage. So three of them down. Uh, I'll take that. Uh, nope. I'll take that just to show you something later on. Right. Let's have a look at the chests. Mm, silver coins. Anything. So we've got these weird swirly vortexes, but they don't take you anywhere. Chest. Potent compost that will always be handy. Any more chests? There's one. Gold coin. Uh, okay. Yeah, so it's a cool looking room. All the way up there. With these big swirly vortex things, but nothing seems to happen, and this doesn't seem to be anything either. So. Not really sure the point of this room, but you hope. So we head back up. Uh, we're getting a little bit thirsty, but because it's cold, I don't want to cool myself down. So we'll use the berry pulp because it fixes your thirst without making you cool. And we'll head up the middle option. doing health wise. Yeah, we're all okay. And you've got plenty of food left. Alright, so we'll go up here. And there is the big boss guy. But he's got two guys on the side. I think when I came up here the last time they bugged out and went into the wall. So you can see the middle guy is a three skull. Herger. Those other two are just standard frost giants. Whoa. Right, so we've got hit with cold snap, which has lowered our temperature. Let's heat this up. And that's what can bring you down into frostbite and do your dam do the damage to you. Separated so I can help with one of them. Die. Maybe you should fight that guy. Oh, he's down anyway. Well, I'll go and have a look in the this guy. What's he got? Hard and steel daggers, I'll take that. Raw ash. Shield back hatchling skull. I'm only doing 64 damage on him. And he's down. Oh, it's a journey step. I think it's also a steam achievement as well, if you don't have that already. Uh, right, so round the back of here, more chests. What's that one? Advanced reinforcement kit, that'll be useful. That's my weight doing 61%. Okay. Right, and then at the back here we have the tablet that teaches us frost smithing, black ice pickaxe, black ice throwing axe, black ice javelin. Uh, I believe it will teach us a few other well, the black ice smithing will be able to teach us a few other things. 
Okay. Anything around here? Nope. This is where those guys were standing. So back down the middle one. That's the way we came in. So we went right, we went straight ahead. So now we can go left. Again, much more black ice all around here. And down here. Very cold, so I'll take some food to warm me up. Of course, the last time I was up here, it would have been pre 3.0, and you had a one of your perks in your attributes was to make you less affected by weather effects. So the cold wouldn't have affected me quite as badly. Oh, there's spiced tea. Another thing that can, that can actually warm you up and give you a drink as well. Let's use that. Lots more black ice. And then in here is the forge room. So there's a bit of a bridge, so we want to kind of get them across. Go for it. The guy at the forge was like a mini boy. I think he's a one skull. He's not even a one skull, but he has got higher health than than the other ones. Get into the room so don't get knocked down. Forge of Ymir. Thousand eight hundred and eighty-four XP for killing the frost giant. pork and the oil. What did you have? Uh, take that. And uh, we'll take that and that. Okay, right. Because we've learned small frost smithing up at the other middle section, we can now use the forge of Ymir. It's a bit difficult because you have to look right down into it there. Hit open and now we can craft these items. So, a hardened pick and black ice will make the black ice pick. Uh, we've got a hatchet. Mm, throwing axe. There's no hatchet. Black ice broadsword, arrows, daggers, greatsword, spear, shield, maul, longsword, javelin, throwing axe, and war axe which which looks really cool so you just need the black the hardened steel version of each of these things and 20 black ice to craft it so we've we picked up daggers and a pick so daggers is 20 so we had 40 black ice who's got the black ice give me 40 of that put it in here where did it go Did I pick it up? Obviously, 
Obviously not. Right, just give me it. Give me it all. Throw it in here. Like that. Uh, dagger. Craft. So it doesn't even have to be fully repaired. These these things are less than half durability. Uh, pick. And this black ice pick, it's it's top tier pick. So it, it's up there with black blood and um, star metal. Well, it takes ages to make that. Ages to make that, but the the weapons are really quick. Shield's quite cool as well. There's bits of ice sticking out of it. They've all got these like icy bits sticking out. Uh, take, take my hammer one minute. There we go. Glowing, glowing ice on the daggers. And of course you could use them to, if you've got a better legendary one, you can still use them to skin them with the illusion system. Alright, that's going to take a while. So what I'm going to do is I will grab them when they're complete and then we will bring you back and I've got one more thing to show you here. Okay, so there it is. There is the black ice pick. Very nice. Oh, wrong button. That button. Right, so the other thing we need to show you is there is a pit under here. Can we get down to let you see? What is down there? Oh, there's a big hole there. Uh, Struggling to see what's down there. Okay, so we'll just have to go down and show you that way. Alright, so I think you can get down here. Yeah. Almost little steps down. See it yet? Still can't see it. Lots more black ice though. There it is. It's another white dragon. Right. It's a bit stuck in the rock. We've only got one Delincia. Come on Delincia, then you come. Let's come over here. See the dragon will come out of the rock. Where'd it go? <laughs> uh, what? Oh, there it is. Right, see if you can see if you can get it. Get me. I'm not able to hit it. Ah, typical. Let's see if we can run over here and get it to come out of the rock. Dragon, you can do it. Totally stuck in there. Oh, there you are. You coming? Is that you out? Can they, can they get you now? Oh, don't go back in. Not doing any damage to it at all. Alright, let's see if I can 
climb out of here and get the reset. And I'll bring you back. Okay, I've went out. I've come back in again. I've I got a got a hardened steel a shield off of one of the frost giants. And so let's make that. He spawned again. That was quick. I'm just taking him down. Hopefully that has reset the dragon. Oh, that was maybe the normal guy that we took down, actually. The guy with the super high health. shield. Right, let's try this again. So I'll run across the bridge, get down these kind of steps. Down here. And let's slide down here. It's kind of in the floor. Let's see what will come out of the floor. Looks like it's in water. Okay, we're doing damage to it now. Right, let's use our hardened steel daggers. Ow. Get some bleed on it. Delincia's in the ground. I'm sure I saw a health bar under the ground. Yeah, there's only one Delincia here now. Let's see if she pops back again. See them, they're under the ground over there. Okay. I'm out of here. This is too bugged. Run around here. Climb up here. Hopefully it doesn't hit me. to me. Nice. Oh, totally bug now. That's that's where he was before when he got stuck. Oh. One Delincia is back. the other one. Who 
we've got a Stolencia 2 with the Azure's Bane Mace. The Stolencia 1 is still missing. Place. Let's go back down again then. And I can say stop and then return. Will she come over here? She will. Get re get it again. Oh, they're both back. Ah, oh, me. Let's try again. Fine spaces is not a great thing to fight a, a great dragon on, especially ones with lumpy bits like that. But the Lincias are doing absolutely fine, and the dragon is at half health now, less than half health. Yeah, I've never fought this dragon before. I've seen it from up there, but I was never sure whether you were able to get back up again. But then, apparently, you can climb in here, so you can climb back up again. Which, so you have to do when the dragon is stuck in the ground. Let's try and see if we can move it out of there. I think one of the Dolentias is underground again. Or in the wall. Yep. Oh, she's a few back. <laughs> suffering from temperature effect. It's got the little thermometer on it as well. It's got sunder, it's got cripple, it's got bleed, and a temperature effect. Um, there we go. Almost down. Last thousand. And it's dead. That was a lot harder than what it should have been. Right, let's try our cleaver again. I don't think you can get white dragon heads, but let's try it anyway. Mm, no. So, exotic flesh, volatile glands. We'll keep the dragon horn, we've got loads of that. Don't need that. Okay, yeah, so that is the white dragon down, down underneath the forge. Uh, let's see, so the way back up again is around here. Kind of climb up here. So the temperature is up was 11 degrees down here, so it's not cold down here at all. Uh, and then you can climb up here. And here, and here. Mm -hmm. 
here. And then this is the last bit back to the bridge again. So a lot of these guys will now have respawned. So we head up here. Probably this guy in the center has probably respawned. Let's see his are coming. He has, yep. So we're gonna to have to fight away. That that's the end of it. That's that's it. We killed we killed the main boss, we learned the frost smithing recipes, and then we went down and we can use the the forge of Ymir to craft your black ice tools and weapons. So now we have to just get our way out of here. Which is back down that way. Come on, take him out. That's it. So I'm just gonna fight my fight my way along here, up the stairs, and we'll get back out the entrance and I'll see you when we get out there. Okay, see you soon. Okay, there we go, we're back outside again, so just to let you see where we are, it is right up here, as far north as you can go, I said, well, not quite, you can't, you can't get, that's inside the, but I think you can get up on these platforms and there's probably some more frost giant camps around here as well, but this is certainly the coldest location you go to, so you're going to need, you're going to need the decent armour, you're going to need food, you're going to need drink that warms you up instead of cools you down, and if you can get Mistmorn the shield to protect you even more, that's, that's, I don't know if it's essential, but it, it makes life an awful lot easier. So there you go. That was the Temple of Frost and the Forge of Emir in order to make black ice tools and weapons, which is one of the, one of the top tier craftable items that you can, you can make. Okay, that'll do for today. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked the video, please hit that like button, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now.